Hi and welcome back to Pittman's Pumpkin Patch. It's July 28th, 2011 and I just wanted to give you an update. Things have not been going all that great in the pumpkin patch. Um, been dealing with a lot of pests that have decimated a lot of my uh, crop. Um, squash bugs and squash vine borers have done most of the damage. Uh, but let's start off with the positive first and uh, well we'll see as we go along. <laughs> right there of course is my best Cinderella pumpkin I got going on. It's a pretty decent size one right there. Okay, kind of give you a little perspective of it. Okay, a bit there. So I'd say that's about a probably close to a mm, eight to ten pounds I would guess something like that um, it's turning orange and, and then uh, it'll go to a more of a reddish color before it's ready to come off so it's on its way it's doing good uh, the vine of this is doing really nice on this one this one of my few that are doing real well here's a Big Max right here um, it produced a couple female flowers that bloom, but it never set. Pollination didn't take place, and it hasn't grown any more female flowers for a while. And maybe that's because of this major heat wave we've been having here. So hopefully if things start to cool down a little bit, maybe it'll start to take off again and start giving me some female flowers. Okay. Let's move over into here. Alright, here's another Cinderella. Smaller. Not sure how big it's going to get, but it's... Definitely on the small size. So it's going. Now, I will tell you this. I had a fascinating thing happen here. Uh, as you can see, I, ha I had some vines and everything growing in here and in here. You can see that small pumpkin there, a pumpkin plant there. It's not really growing much. Um, but I had to clear that all out because the vine borers and everything got to it and destroyed the vine. And it had a couple of Cinderella pumpkins on it. And they weren't going to grow anymore, so I just had to cut them off, off the vine and everything, and, and pulled the plant out because it was totally destroyed. But what happened, the amazing part happened, is on this plant right here, the main vine that originally grew out of there was totally destroyed, like I said, by vine borers. But what it did, back at the good part of the vine, near, the, um, near where the stem came out of the ground, it grew another vine and grew it off to the side and I bent it back and took it back over here which is what you see right here so it was uh, it survived that attack by growing another vine back from the healthy part of the plant but uh, it, it, they, those vine borers really do a number on your stuff so as you can see I used to have a lot of healthy plants in here I don't really anymore uh, I put in some marigolds to try to help control some of the bugs but I don't think they really work that well because I'm still seeing those squash bugs everywhere <laughs> um, let me move up to uh, uh, another part here first here's my Big Max here that's been and then you can see the vine has been decimated there's no leaves except for two and even those are on their way out those two right there they're on their way out this vine has been totally destroyed too that pumpkin is not going to get any bigger now I'm just waiting for it to ripen completely ripened and done. You can see there's a small pumpkin there, Big Max, it used to be over there in the dirt mound, uh, growing on the dirt mound, but that vine borers got to that and killed that plant too. Uh, and I had another pumpkin, another Big Max that was right in here that was growing, uh, but something drilled a hole into that and started rotting the pumpkin out from inside and everything, so I cut that off the vine, had to throw that pumpkin in the trash. Uh, so the vine though still has a few leaves on it, not many. Uh, I don't know what it's going to do. I'll let it go and see what happens. Maybe it'll it'll uh, heal itself. My one Howden plant that I started way back then was the very first one that sprouted up. You can see it's lost a lot of its leaves, but it's still growing all the way out here still going right along out here we're already past this dirt now and I don't know what's been going on with this either but it's been producing lots of female flowers but nothing has been blooming on these howden plants except for males male flowers none of the female flowers of any of these howden plants has ever gotten to bloom they start to grow 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 and then they die so I don't know what's going on with that 
I tested the soil and everything, and seems to be a lot of phosphorus in there. I don't know if that's what the deal is, but uh, maybe it's also the heat wave. I don't know. Um, but it has another female flower on. It's taking a little bit longer this time to uh, to grow that female flower. Maybe that's a good thing. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, with these Halden plants right here, these are my younger batch, and um, I had a female flower on there. Uh, yesterday and today that was looking really good it was finally looking like it might get to uh, to bloom but no it, it, it grew to a certain point and then stopped and then I could see that the pumpkin underneath the uh, petals was starting to shrink and so I just pulled that off it's already got another female trying to grow but we'll see I have a another female flower uh, right there and uh, don't know if that's going to make it or not. It looks promising, but they all do, and then they just stop growing for whatever reason. They get to a certain stage and just stop growing. I don't know what's going on with that, but and maybe that one's going to do the same thing. I don't know. You know, right now it's got lime green petals, and I need them to turn yellow in order for it to... Uh, finally show me that it's going to bloom the next day but it never makes it quite to that stage so I'm a little bummed out about all that you know because here you have a female a male excuse me a male flower right there and you can tell the yellowing on that one and uh, that's definitely going to bloom tomorrow morning I wish I could see that yellowing on my female flowers but on these howling plants but that's not happening let me show you something here uh, some squash bug eggs that uh, are on here. Let me see if I can find out where they went to. There they are, right there. I'll just show you what they look like. Okay, see those little red cluster of eggs right there? Usually on the bottom of the leaves, those are squash bug eggs. You want to get rid of them. Peel them off, take the leaf off if you want, that part of the leaf that the eggs are on. Or peel them off by hand, drop them in some soapy water, or crush them, get rid of them. They're bad news. Bad news. And, um, so, the only thing you can do is keep on picking and picking and picking. And, uh, that yellow and green and white little bucket thing over there is, is supposed to be a squash vine borer trap. It's supposed to attract them. Uh, I have yet to see any squash vine borers adult ones that in there. Um, I've seen plenty of bees or, or no, excuse me, wasps I think in there that have been killed but not uh, not the ones I'm actually after. So you know I I was hoping that you know I would have a better growing season uh, but that's nature you know I've lost a few I've gained I've got a few going um, I'm hoping that these Howden plants will be my uh, salvation for uh, <laughs> the, this growing season. I'm uh, hoping that they'll uh, produce here when this heat wave calms down. Hopefully that will uh, um, change everything. So uh, one thing I've discovered that you can use to uh, get rid of of um, squash bugs and their nymphs, which is the baby uh, squash bugs that just hatched out, is soapy water using dish soap um, like a tablespoon of your regular dish soap and, and a spray bottle and fill up the rest of the water. Here's a spray bottle right here about the size you know and you just spray the bugs directly when you see them the nymphs and the adults uh, they do not work on eggs but they will kill those nymphs and adults pretty quickly um, so that's a tip for and it does work so all right enough from the pumpkin patch and hopefully in a couple weeks or so hopefully I'll have better things to report hopefully I'll get some of these howden plants to start producing and blooming some female flowers for a change alright so we'll see you in a couple weeks or so bye